Welcome to the Co Young booth here at Semicon West. Uh, delighted to be joined by Joel Scutchfield. Uh, good to see you again, Joel. You as well, you as well. It's a little uh, strange being at a trade show in July, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah, and, and, and in a <laughs> different pond as well, because we're normally, of course, in the SMT business. We are. Uh, and the, a lot of these assembly shows. But, you know, back end packaging is also a big part of what you do and I do as well. Correct. So, um, you know, we, we've got to sort of learn to. Uh, all the new relationships in this part of the industry. Navigate, and, yeah. And navigate it, yeah, exactly. exactly. That's, that's, uh, that's probably the best way to put it. Yeah, we've, we've been in this space for a while, uh, since the, uh, uh, the release of the Meister back in 2016, but it's now a, a time where it makes sense to, to take a look at taking this next level. So as the semiconductor industry expands in the Americas, so too have we expanded our efforts to, um, you know, to penetrate that expansion and starting with, with this show and, and what you see here in, in the booth, which is uh, um, a far cry from uh, not having any presence here you know, since that 2016. Right. To turning uh, up with four machines. <laughs> yeah, right. So we, uh, you know us, we go all in. Yeah. And, and that's basically what we've done with, uh, with the Meister series, which is our offering for uh, Semicon uh, applications, mm -hmm. uh, basically now able to handle with the with the uh, introduction of the the Meister W uh, anything post fab right. uh, from a wafer level perspective, uh, fan out, chip scale, uh, BGA, micro BGA, micro LED, uh, running the gambit. Right. Uh, so uh, yeah, I mean, you, you have developed the Meister uh, uh, platform quite a bit since 2016. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. what are some of the, the changes that you've brought into that? So, I, I think the biggest well, two things actually. Um, again, well, maybe maybe three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me kind of start at the top here. So, you know, with the need now uh, for dye inspection to have uh, suppressed lighting. Um, being able to inspect reflective shiny surface, we had to we had to make modifications to the lighting system with the coaxial and, and lighting suppression, so we can now inspect very accurately the uh, the shiny and reflective for cracks, for materials, all the all the usual anomalies. Mm -hmm. We've also expanded with the Meister D Plus to the 25 megapixel camera, uh, and likewise on the Meister S, which is the uh, the solder paste inspection version of the of the Meister. Uh, with that 25 megapixel camera, now we can also uh, increase the inspection capability down to three and a half microns. So, you know, the the trade off there is um, is speed. When we when we increase the resolution, typically we we lose speed. Lose right? Speed, there's yeah. there's more processing. So by increasing the megapixel size of the camera, we're able to to compensate for that. Mm -hmm. um, the third piece to that is the introduction of the of the Meister W, which now can handle the the wafer you know, right out of the right out of the handling system. So basically, okay. foop in 300 millimeter wafer ball bump inspection, uh, and then beyond that, all of the uh, once dicing and so forth is complete, the mm -hmm. the actual packaging, the the, the merging of the substrate with the die, mm -hmm. creating the the system level package and, and being able to inspect everything that we've always been able to inspect traditionally on the SMT side with with the addition of the um, of the die capability as well. Right. So. so you're able to to to, to look at the, the die and the interconnection of the die, uh, uh, the the bonding. Uh, uh, wires, for example? So, not, not necessarily from a wire perspective, but direct ball attach, yeah. absolutely. We're, yeah, again, we're inspecting balls, we're inspecting uh, C4, we're inspecting, uh, again, the die itself for positional, for cracks, we're inspecting all of the traditional um, uh, passives and, and, and other devices that are still included, all the way down to the, uh, you know, the 0201 metric. Right. Um, we're inspecting with the uh, uh, the Neptune system that we also have here up underfill, which okay. is very prevalent in a lot of these applications. So, again, we feel like that's a very good fit yeah. for this market, and thus the, you know, the effort being applied to, you know, to penetrate penetrate it this market. More. What, what about what about stack die as well? I mean, presumably you can you can look at stack die and check that the 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 die are. are correctly positioned and Correct. there's any cracks or, or defects on, on the die itself. Yeah, and that's really where uh, 
where the whole advanced packaging initiative is going, I think, right? Everything's going up now, right? Moore's law, blah, 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 right? We all, we all know the drill there. So again, going from the 2D to the two and a half to the 3D, being able to, to, to handle all of that from not only, a, uh, not only an inspection capability perspective, but also handling the form factor, right? Mm -hmm. Handling the wafer, handling the, the, the diced wafer, handling the, the individual uh, circuits, if you will, or chips, if you will, once they're, um, once they're created through the entire back-end process. So right. it'll continue to evolve. There's, yeah. uh, evolve. there's no doubt about that. But, yeah. uh, you, know, there's, uh, you know, there's a lot of opportunity out there. And as usual with Co Young, the customer will drive us and, and help us uh, understand what they need the most, right. which, we'll, which we'll apply our focus to as we mm -hmm. continue to expand in this world. In this world, yeah. This new world. Yeah, yeah. and it is a new world. And the, the thing is, that, you know, still a lot of, um, uh, still a lot of uh, things not quite settled yet. We've got the yeah. U.S. Chips Act, but there's a lot of, you know, yeah. the money hasn't quite been um, apportioned, shall we say. Correct. Uh, and we don't know where it's all going to land. That's very uh, true. And we don't even know which border it's going to land. <laughs> you know, whether it's going to be up here or whether it's going to be down in Mexico. Yeah. But um, there's there's definitely a, a lot of opportunities out there. But you've got the technical capability to be able to service some of these inspection needs when they come along. We uh, do, and, and we have the infrastructure, right? We have our support network in the Americas, both U.S., Canada, Mexico, and, and yeah. even South America. So very well positioned to handle that. Um, but as we know, it's it's a different world. It's it's different, to to a large degree. It's different companies, right? It's completely different companies now that so we're that we're calling on. It's relationships. It's it's terminology. It's mm -hmm. it's uh, 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 you know being a, building that expertise to be able to to talk the talk to to provide solutions. Uh, uh, different level of understanding of, of what the needs are. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's some certainly some crossover, but. Uh, uh, you know, we talk a lot about the CHIPS Act, and, and, and that seems to be what's driving a lot of this, but as we both know, there's significant investment that's been committed from companies themselves. some very large, mm -hmm. yes, companies uh, uh, that, that we all be familiar with name-wise uh, in, the, in the many, many billions of dollars beyond the, the $52 billion of the CHIPS Act. So, yeah. you know, I guess the best way to say that this isn't going away, right? No, this, this is no, the future. No, no. And, and, I mean, in fact, yeah. and one of the, the the key central themes here this week at Semicon West is that the electronics industry is moving towards a one trillion dollar yeah. electronics yeah. Uh, universe. Amazing? I mean, it's yeah. yeah. hard to get we, your head around. <laughs> we've both been in this a long time, <laughs> and we've, we've seen the evolution from through hole to surface mount, and, yeah. and all the the iterations in between, and. Uh, I, I guess it shouldn't be that mind-boggling, though. I mean, as we as we progress as a society, um, you know, technology is it's it's there. It's just it's and it's not going away. And it's just a, a, a yeah, it's just a natural natural evolution. All of the emphasis on on AI, on on everything being being electronically driven, cloud-based, uh, data centers, data science. I mean, it's just on and on and on. Yeah. So. We feel like we're in a very good spot, yeah. obviously. And uh, as we said when we started the conversation, we're navigating our way through, and and it's been a good week this week. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, we've uh, we've made some new friends, good. and uh, we hope to uh, to have them uh, uh, as our friends for for many many years, and and build on that as we go. Excellent, excellent. Well, you know, you've certainly got a, a great range of products to do that with, and uh, you know, we, we wish you every success with it. And well, thank you very it's much. It's great to no, see I, you here at Semicon West. It, it absolutely is. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a new adventure for both. And uh, mm -hmm. again, we're we're going to be a, a very uh, uh, I hope dominant fixture at this show as we go forward. And mm -hmm. uh, and we look forward to that. And, Good. And thank I'm you sure for you your uh, for your well wishes. We'll uh, we'll have more conversation on this as we go. I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. Anyway. Good to see you again, Joel, and thanks for bringing us up to date. Thank you, Trevor. You too.